You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face uh, from the Brockton Garden Club, Peg Kearney. Right? Kearney. I said it right. right. Okay, just making sure. Um, you guys, gals, do everything really nicely with the Brockton Garden Club, I must say. Thank you. And uh, quickly, so we don't date this too much, we're going to talk about upcoming Saturday, May 16th, your annual plant sale. Correct. Pitch it for me. Correct. Um, it's at 45 Meadow Lane, um, the site of the old um, Campella swimming pool. Um, the park department lets us use it. Um, it will be open at 8.30. The line, people start lining up about 7.30 with their wagons and everything else. Um, we're open till 11. We have hundreds and hundreds of perennial plants, herbs. We have geraniums that we sell for just scholarship, which is a little bit separate, mm -hmm. so two separate cashiers. Um, and we also this year once again have um, fancy daylilies that have been donated to us by a friend of the Garden Club. <laughs> so why go any place else like your commercial Lowe's or Home Depot or exactly. anything and you can get stuff Come done by us. expert gardeners exactly. that are local people that are right. your friends and neighbors, right? Everything's grown really almost in the city so if you put it back in your garden you know it's going to grow. There you go. Other yep. than it coming from God knows where. Yes. So that's the plant sale, Saturday, May 16th from 8.30 to 11 at 45 Meadow Lane, which if anyone that's been in Brockton knows, <laughs> it's the old Campello pool site of the Park Department office. So we're going to switch over, though, to a, a, like a three-day long event at the beginning of June. Correct. Okay? Yeah. You have something called Craft and Bloom in conjunction and at the Fuller Craft Museum. We do. We Craft do. in Bloom. Tell us about it. Well, um, there is a program that's been going on for 40 years at the MFA in Boston, Museum of Fine Arts, that is called Art in Bloom. And florists from all over the New England come and they interpret f famous art pieces in flowers. Mm -hmm. So we've had this in the back of our heads for some time. We went to the Fuller. So they have right now an exhibition going on that is there own pieces that they've owned that they've purchased or acquired since it's been a craft museum and mm -hmm. that's what we're interpreting so there's many many pieces in their show but we have 25 floral arrangements that will interpret their pieces well that's great now the dates of this event it's a whole weekend long it's june 5th june 6th and june 7th Correct. which in brockton is the brockton high graduation weekend on on the saturday on the Friday, right. it's not. The Sunday, if it's a rain date on Saturday, it's Sunday. But right. that's something we have to deal with. But it's 10 to 5 all three of those days, All correct? three of those days, 10 so, to 5. We have the floral arrangements, as I mentioned. Um, we'll have speakers and demonstrations that we're still finalizing all of that. The cafe will be open for lunch. There'll be soft music playing in the background, you know, for while you sit and have your lunch, hopefully outdoors, because the weather will be nice. Oh, nice weather now. We I, I was listening the other day, you know, heard all the complaints all winter long, which was a tough winter. Even if it's like blazing out, I don't think anybody should complain. Fuller is beautiful no once spring happens and right. over the course of the summer, so it's the perfect place to do it. I see live music on there too. Just soft live music. Okay, but no, live. No rock music. Okay, live music. <laughs> and if you plan ahead mm -hmm. and go to their website, Correct. the tickets are cheaper. Correct. The ch tickets are cheaper beforehand. The website, fullercraft.org, or you can even call them on the phone. Okay. They'll take credit card, PayPal, um, Probably even reserve you a ticket and you can pay that day, but the tickets at the door are more money. Okay, and the phone number for the Fuller Craft is 508 588 6000. Uh, the website is www.fullercraft.org. Right. And it's for 55 Oak Street, right? Adjacent to DW. Correct. Field Park, which is going to be 90 years old. I heard it of a celebration a coming up. I just got an invitation right. to that. And uh, the Garden Club, you're a great community partner. You've helped us at Thank the you. library. You decorate the city. This is this is a good thing. This is something you've been playing. I, I, all the folks involved with your group that I've talked to over the years on this show say, you know, we, we get something new up our sleeves. 
Nobody told me till I saw this poster. We, we try to come up with something new. And it's good for the city. A lot of people don't know the Fuller. They've lived here and have never been. So mm -hmm. come to the Fuller. It's really, really a nice museum. It's, it sounds silly, but it's cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the crafts are beautiful. They are world-renowned. Um, it's beautiful. And the arrangements will be beautiful. They're not just the Brockton Garden Clubs. They're from all over the South Shore. Right. Plus three local florists. Okay. businesses okay we've and, invited and um i know bes be besides being gardeners and outdoors people you have a lot of people that are crafty and artistic and everything right you got a pretty good membership base when you do your a big event every year at the library you guys draw from all over the south shore we do. all over massachusetts <laughs> we do that's presidents and guest night that we do at the library mm -hmm. and we invite all the other garden clubs to come they come because they like our baking. <laughs> now, you also have meetings. I, I see we them. We publicize them. We put some of the stuff up on the channel. Um, do, do you guys meet over the summer, or is that the, probably the only time you don't? Our one last meeting will be Monday night, actually, May 18th. Okay. And we don't. We meet May through June, but June is our annual meeting, which isn't normally open to the public. It's just membership. Membership has its privileges, exactly, right? Exactly. Right. Now, give us an idea what it takes to be a member, too. Membership is getting easier. Um, we have a questionnaire that we ask people to fill out, only that um, your likes and that kind of thing, what you like about gardening, what you do garden with, you know, vegetables, flowers, perennials, annuals. Um, we ask everyone to be on at least two committees during mm -hmm. a year and pay your dues. Okay. That's all it takes. And, and come to some meetings. Now, we gave the fuller name and website, number and website. What about getting in touch with someone from the Garden Club? Who's the person to get in touch to be a member? Or do you go to a meeting to preview it? How does that work? Um, the best thing to do is our website is www.brocktongc.org. Um, there's a place there about becoming a member. Um, we do ask if somebody will ex come to at least one meeting. Mm -hmm. But if someone's interested in getting ready in the summer, we usually have um, what we call garden walks that we don't publicize. Um, and if someone's interested, we will invite them to those and we kind of let that count as a meeting. There you go. Yeah. So just to recap, um, the one a signature event, if you will, Craft and Bloom, June 5th, 6th, and 7th, 10 to 5, at, from the Bar Brockton Garden Club in conjunction with Fuller Craft at Fuller Craft. Get your tickets ahead of time at www.fullercraft.org or call 508-588-6000. Correct. Peg, it's always a pleasure to have you Thank on. Thank you. Thank you for having me and or uh, us. We will get some video and show people what, not what they're missing because we want them to go. Correct. Everyone okay? come, please. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. T stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.